Hi, everyone. Today we are starting our second special journal in Lesson 9.4, um, and that's going to be on the cash payments journal. So our objectives for today are to record cash payments using a cash payments journal and also to record replenishment of a petty cash fund. So the cash payments journal is our second special journal that we're going to be working with. And this special journal is used to record only cash payment transactions. You can see this journal looks a lot different from the general journal and also the purchases journal, which we just learned about in section 9.2. Um, and so the specific columns we're working with here, we have a date and account title column. We have a column just for check numbers, a post-reference column. Then we have a general debit and credit columns, similar to the general journal. And then we have some special columns like we had in the purchases journal. So we have accounts payable debit, purchases discount credit, and cash credit. Now, when we're working with these types of transactions, we need to be familiar with dis different discount terms. And so we need to know what the list price is. The list price is a retail price listed in a catalog or on an internet site, but then you might get a discount. So um, one discount that's typically given is a trade discount, and that's a reduction in the list price granted to a merchandising business. So it's not like a coupon. It's just, oh, we're going to sell this to you for 60% off or something along those lines. Then we have the net price and the net price is the price after the trade discount has been deducted from the list price. A cash discount is a deduction that a vendor allows on an invoice amount to encourage prompt payment. Um, and we, I will show you an example of that in a second. And we also have these general amount columns that we're going to be utilizing with this journal. Um, and that's a journal amount column that is not headed with an account title. So the first transaction that we're going to look at today is a cash payment of an expense. So wrote a check to Kessler Promotions for advertising. So this transaction is pretty simple. Typically before we would do advertising expense would be debited, cash is credited in the general journal, and we're still doing the same thing, except now it's a little bit of a different format. So on November 3rd, advertising expense is going to be debited for 600. So that's why we put the 600 in the general debit column. So anything in the general debit credit column, the account title is going to go over here in the account title column. Check number 689. You do not have to put a C because all of our source documents are going to be checks. Then cash is credited for $600. So we put that in the cash credit column. Um, and it's as simple as that. So the same transaction that we've seen before, just a little bit of a different format. Another similar transaction we've seen before, wrote a check to Well Supply for store supplies. So we would debit supplies office, credit cash, just like before. Now it's just going into a different format. So the date, supplies office, 690, which is our check number. We're debiting supplies office for 5620 credit and cash for 5620. Now, cash payments for purchases are where things get a little um, different, okay? So we purchase merchandise from Polar Refrigeration for cash. Anytime we see this phrase, purchase merchandise, make sure you write that on the side, um, make a note of that. Anytime you see that phrase, purchase merchandise, the account is purchases okay so we purchase merchandise for 480 um and so what we are going to do is put the date the account title purchases the check number the amount in the general debit column and then the amount in the cash credit column now Sometimes we are going to offer discounts. So a discount period is the period of time during which a customer may take a cash discount. We have a purchases discount, which is when a company that has purchased merchandise on account takes a cash discount. 
Um, this is a new account and it has a normal credit balance. This is also a Contra account. And we've talked about Contra accounts before, but it's an account that reduces a related account on a financial statement. Um, and since Contra accounts are offsets to their related accounts, the Contra account normal balances are opposite the norm normal balances of their related accounts. And I will talk to you a little bit more about that in our next lesson in 9.5 when we are posting. But this is a count that, uh, sorry, a transaction that deals with a discount. So paid cash on account to Gell Electric, $627.20, covering purchase invoice $489 for $640, less is 2% discount. So this is what's happening here. The original invoice was $640. That's how much we owe, and that's how much is in accounts payable that we need to pay back. However, they offered us this 2% discount to pay early. Um, so we paid it early, so we only have to pay $627.20. So this is how we're going to journalize that. We need to keep track of this purchases discount. Why? Because accounts payable says that we owe 640. We only are paying 627. So we need to account for that extra discount that we are receiving. Um, and so that's what we're doing here. Otherwise, it will look like we still owe 1280. So we're going to put the date and we're going to put the name of the vendor that we are paying back. So the vendor name is Gale Electric. The check number is 702. So last chapter when we would pay, some, or sorry, last unit in chapters one through eight, when we would pay something um, on account, it would, the account would be accounts payable dash Gale Electric. So anytime we see paid cash on account, write that down, paid cash on account, we are using this accounts payable column. Okay, so accounts payable, Gale Electric is going to be debited for 640. We received a purchases discount for 1280. And so that is going to go here. Cash, the amount that we're paying is going to go in the cash credit column. If you want to make sure you did this correctly, add your two credits, make sure they equal your debit. Um, a cash payment on account transaction without a purchases discount is a little bit easier. Uh, we wrote a check to SNR Imports to pay on account. So this is how much we owed. So accounts payable um, to SNR Imports is going to be debited. Cash is going to be credited. Similar to what we've done previously, except because it says we wrote this check on account. Anytime you see that on account, we're putting the amount in the accounts payable column. So we're putting the name of the vendor, the date, the name of the vendor, the check number, and then the total amount that we're paying back. And then that same amount is in cash. Now there's another tr transaction um, dealing with petty cash. So we've talked about how to replenish petty cash previously. Now we're just going to do that in a um, in a cash payments journal. So you have a petty cash report, which we've seen before. Um, what we are going to do is we are going to first put the date. Then we are going to take all of our accounts that we paid money for, okay? So advertising, supply store, miscellaneous, and we're debiting all of those amounts, okay? Then what we're doing is we're listing cash short and over as our last account, all right? So if it is over, which it is here in parentheses, it's credited. I like, I see OC, I always use that to remind myself. So OC, so over is a credit, I think of Ocean City, okay? Um, but if it's short, then it's a debit, okay? Um, and then the cash credit is going to be the replenish amount over here to the right. So that is the cash payments journal.